everyone. Welcome back to an engineering challenge with Clark Planetarium. I'm Cynthia and this is Michelle and we are on IO today and we're going to be building a rover. We hope you got to see the Perseverance landing on Mars and we're going to make our own rovers today. Now Perseverance uses a big old battery to move around but we're going to make rovers that drive with potential energy. As you can see here Michelle's rover has a rubber band that stretches. Now this creates potential energy and when you let go of that rubber band it's going to want to snap back into place and that turns it into kinetic energy which just means moving energy and you can show this with a ball when Michelle holds it up high it's got a lot of potential energy but when she lets go it's going to convert to moving energy or kinetic energy and fall down so grab some materials we'll show you what you need um, and get ready to build a rover for this engineering challenge you're going to need some cardboard, some candies with a hole in the middle, some scissors, some tape, a straw, a skewer or a pencil, a ruler to measure things, um, something to mark things with, and a rubber band or two rubber bands. Okay, when you're building your rover, you can take a lot of options. We had a straw for the axle first, it didn't work. Now we have a pencil. Now when you're ready to assemble your rover, make sure you've got your axles and your wheels all connected. You want to make sure that those candies aren't going to slide off the ends, so have something that'll keep them there and that they can still turn. And then to get the power for your rover, you're going to take two rubber bands and connect them together like we have here. And then you'll attach them to that main axle by pulling one underneath and then taking the other through. Then you'll take the whole thing and attach it to the little notches on the other side of the rover. And that's gonna secure it in place. When you're ready to charge your rover, go ahead and spin your front axle around and it will pull the rubber bands tight. And then you get to watch it go. Look at that! Now we're on carpet, so Maybe that's not the best terrain for this kind of rover, but you can try out different styles of wheels, different terrain, and even different amount of times that you spin the rubber band around to find out what works best. Come on, little rover. There it goes. That's a beautiful rover, Michelle. <laughs> Thank you. Experiment with different designs and see what helps the rover move farther or maybe what helps it move faster. All the rovers that we've sent to Mars have had different improvements and different technology that helps them explore. So, did you notice that our rover didn't go very far when it was driving an aisle? That may be because we used square wheels. Square wheels can be helpful if you're trying to get over big obstacles, but as you can tell, our terrain is pretty flat for the most part. So maybe square wheels aren't the best choice. What kind of wheels should you use with the terrain that you have? We decided to try making a rover with round wheels as well. This is more like regular cars and other rovers. Let's see how this one works. Whoa! That went way further. So, have fun exploring your different designs and let us know what you make. Use the hashtag Clark Planetarium and hashtag engineering challenge to let us see what you build. Have fun engineering and we'll see you next time.